Thomas and Friends, A Crack in the Track. Thomas was a little blue steam engine. He lived on the island of Sodor with many other engines. Sometimes Thomas pulled his coaches, Annie and Clarabelle. Hurry, hurry, said the coaches. Sometimes Thomas pulled freight cars. Faster, faster, said the foolish freight cars. They would try to push Thomas down the hill. And sometimes Thomas traveled all by himself across the island. He chugged in the rain, he huffed in the sun, and he puffed in the snow. There is nothing a train cannot do, Thomas said proudly. One morning, Henry, the green engine, would not come out of his shed. He had boiler ache. So Sir Topham Hatt asked Thomas to help. Peep, peep, Thomas said to the people. I can take you where you want to go. Soon clouds gathered. The sky grew dark. Thunder rumbled. Plip, plop, clunk. Hail began to fall. It fell on Thomas. It fell on the tracks. Suddenly, Thomas's driver saw trouble ahead. Slow down, said the driver. The hail had made a crack right there in the track. Thomas came to a stop. His driver called out, we cannot go forward and we must not go back. Everyone off, the conductor said. Now what shall we do, said the people. They climbed down from the coaches and climbed up to the road. Bertie the bus was just passing by. Bertie beeped his horn merrily. A bus is as good as a train, he said. I can take you where you want to go. All the people climbed on board Bertie. Bertie scooted down the road. A bus is as good as a train, the people said. Suddenly, Bertie's driver saw trouble ahead. Slow down, the driver said. There in the road was a bright green toad. Bertie came to a stop. His driver called out, there's a toad in the road. We will have to unload. Everyone off, said Bertie's driver. That toad in the road caused a fuss on the bus. What will happen to us, the people said. Then they walked down the road to another train station, but the trains were not running. Why not, asked the people. They soon found out. Thomas was still stuck at the crack in the track. Percy was stuck there at Thomas's back. Gordon was stuck behind Thomas and Percy. James, with two freight cars, was in quite a hurry. The freight cars were needed in the yard but James could not get past Gordon and Percy and Thomas, and the foolish freight cars refused to back up. No, 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 they said. We will not go, they said. So no trains could move up and no trains could move back. They were stuck where they were at that crack in the track. I guess there are some things that a train cannot do, said Thomas's driver. We need help, said Thomas, and I know just who to call. Thomas's driver called Sir Topham Hatt and told him Thomas's plan. An excellent plan, Sir Topham said. Please thank Thomas, he added. In no time at all, Harold the helicopter zoomed across the sky. He landed near the people. They all climbed aboard. A helicopter is as good as a train, said Harold. I can take you where you want to go. 
The breakdown crew came to replace the broken track. By the time they arrived, rain was falling hard. The crew came with cranes. They sang while they worked. A crane is as good as a bus or a train. We'll fix up your track and we don't mind the rain. Finally, Thomas could move. So could Percy and Gordon. James with his freight cars was close behind. They turned on the turntable and went back to work. The people saw Thomas waiting to take them home. Are you sure you can take us where we want to go? They asked. I thought there was nothing a train could not do, said Thomas. But now I know that just isn't true. I learned a big lesson from one little crack. A train is only as good as its track. The end. Good night, Sammy. Good night, Sophie.